the fantastic thing about a knowledge exchange is the fact um, that we really use this as an opportunity to share the kind of learning that we gain from our participants and for the participants of our programs to actually share with each other. Um, you learn so much doing the sort of formal theory, but actually applying it in real life is where that sort of nitty gritty learning comes out of. And people want to hear the dramas, the successes, the failures of what's actually happened to them, because then actually they can replicate some of the successes and they can learn to do things differently out of the things that haven't gone um, so well. So people like that real narrative, that storytelling, those case studies, what we've been. And what's fantastic about today is we've combined several of our programs. So we've got large scale change, small scale change, we've got service improvement, we've got transformational change and all of those feed into each other so that's really fantastic there's quite a buzz in the room today one of the things that I've really liked about today were the posters so this group of people have been on two different programs which really only started and um, some in the summer some much later and yet they've produced posters which cover um, the work that they've been doing locally and I'm really impressed with what they've managed to achieve and how they've used their new learning and been able to present it in such a way that demonstrates that they've understood um, and that they're actually using it to really help them deal with some tricky challenges back in, in, in you know, the hospital or the um, organisation they work in. The real highlights of the day for me are when we ask some of our participants who are not experienced public speakers to be bold enough to come onto a stage to speak to um, a very large number of people and to actually share their journey. Um, and that's a new experience for them and we get an insight into what their world has been like and the excitement and some of the lows about their journey. And actually that really grounds um, our programmes in the reality of delivering improvement and successful change in the NHS. So I think that the real benefits of the CUSA and transformational change programs are that uh, people think that actually change is something which just happens. It's not something which just happens. There are a set of skills which it's just really important to have a basic understanding of. And some people need to have a real in-depth understanding. And then you can create a team which is really important because it will create the right conditions to allow that change to happen. And, and really that's what it's all about. It's about engaging people with skills, building a team, and that team can then make the change happen, either in their own service or across a whole system by working together with other teams. And that's, it's, a, it's a, just a really important piece of work. I think it's quite rare to actually get time out of work to have a really constructive um, thoughtful opportunity to learn about tools that can help you do your job better so I think the first thing for me was actually having that time and that learning opportunity. I think the second thing um, was that um, there's an awful lot of talk about transformational change at the moment and I think for me and um, the programme helped debunk some of those myths and it kind of helped me understand some of the language much more. I think the third thing was it was a really good opportunity for our team to get together to focus on the acute kidney injury project that we were working on that we felt very strongly about that's really important and it actually gave us some constructive time together that actually helped us shape our work. Um, and I think the fourth thing I actually kind of I, I refreshed my understanding but also learned some new tools and techniques that I think if um, consistently applied you actually feel much more confident about doing your job and you also have a little bit more rigour in how you actually approach um, taking a change forward. So I think those reasons were really, um, you know, they, they were an awful lot of the benefits that I got from the programme. I intend to apply the learning in creating a, a ready reckoner about tools and methods for managing change for the staff I work uh, with and lead. Um, also, I intend to apply the learning by perhaps going back to study myself. It has, uh, I've, I've enjoyed it so much, it's um, encouraged me to think about that and so to mix um, work with some academic study, in particular focusing on transformational change because of its unique impact on people's attitude, beliefs and behaviours. Um, I, th I think 
you've got to keep going. I think obviously the, I can't remember how many people are on this on this uh, CUSA course, maybe 50, 60. Look from memory, looking around the room. Um, but, but we need we need those 50, 60 to go out there and spread the message. So the team have got to encourage people to go out there and say what a good course this is, uh, attract more people to come, you know, um, act, use the course as a driver for change. Uh, and c crucially, how can you get other partners there, particularly social care, they're outside the NHS, but actually are key partners in, in what we're trying to do together. Because um, I got on because, you know, we're, we're a play short, but but maybe we can encourage if people are sending teams of four as an organisation to bring their, you know, their major major partner, whoever that may be, it is usually someone in social care, I think, because we can only solve these problems together, of course. So I think these programmes are absolutely essential. So inside uh, NHS IQ, we would see these as, if you like, uh, the top of a pyramid in terms of how we build capability for change. So we've got things like we're developing a massive open online course of basic uh, improvement skills uh, with uh, partners in Sweden. But at the top of the tree, we've got these two programmes, the CUSA and the Leading Transformational Change uh, programs. And what they're doing is they are really um, enabling people to work together across boundaries to create the thinking which will be behind these new models of care in the five year forward view. I would recommend this program to others. Um, we we sometimes um, forget what we know, and there's a lot now that I think we don't know, but people assume so, particularly if we're in senior manager roles and director roles. And it's wise, I think, to learn so that you're more mindful in how you're approaching the work and shaping it. I would recommend it. I think, um, I think we're all having um, to really think about big system issues now in our, in our roles. Um, and I think that it feels actually quite daunting to do that. I think the programme helps you to um, kind of get some tools under your belt that you can actually take out and apply in practice. I think you get access to a good learning network as you're going through the programme. Um, and I think you'll actually really enjoy it as well. So I think, you know, there are three really good reasons just to, just to give it a go. I would really recommend the, the CUSA programme simply because the learning you get, the material you get to take away, um, in terms of hard copy, so there's some real, you know, that book, the books you get were given out, the box of books were given out, um, what you learn about leadership, uh, stakeholder engagement, um, so I would recommend it to anybody to come along, take the bits you need, you know, the, there are probably eight or ten subjects within the programme, you've probably done some of them before, but the ones you've done before will be a refresher and there'll be definitely things that you don't know and haven't learnt before which, which you'll be quite surprised about really. So come along and enjoy it and take the learning away and put it into practice.